Hey there, Pats Nation. Let's get into our top headline from Super Bowl week. Has Rob Gronkowski been cleared for Super Bowl 52? Five Lombardi trophies, yes he has. Rob Gronkowski is officially through the concussion protocol. He participated in media day yesterday, as you can see from our picture, looking quite happy to be back up there on the stand. So he will play in the Super Bowl, huge for the Patriots. I think we can all agree that without him, he probably wouldn't be able to win the Super Bowl. So huge for the Patriots. He has gone through the entire concussion protocol. Like we told you when he first uh, got announced with the concussion, it would take him about a week, a week and a half to get through it. Fits right into our schedule, so he will play on Sunday. Hey there, Pats Nation. Welcome into Patriots Report presented by Chad Sports. I'm your host, Harris Rubenstein. We have had a wild Super Bowl week full of news and rumors, so I'm going to take you through all the top headlines from the week, as well as giving you the keys to the game for the Patriots to win on Sunday. that will give you my prediction, but we want to hear yours as well. Make sure to give us your predictions in the comments section. But this episode is brought to you by GameTime, the number one mobile ticketing app that you will find anywhere on the App Store. You can get up to 60% off last-minute sports and concert tickets by heading to chatsports.com slash tickets to download the GameTime app today. Before we move on further, let's go through our rumor explainer. You'll see a lot of different amounts of Lombardi trophies because, you know, if you got five Lombardi trophies, why not show them off? So here's our ranking scale here. Two Lombardi trophies, it's Ted Wells level. A Little bit of honesty, not really there. Three Lombardi trophies, we'll see. 50-50 shot, four Lombardi trophies. It's pretty likely about a 75% chance there. And five Lombardis, count the rings. It is an absolute certainty. By the way, zero Lombardis, we're on to Cincinnati. We're not even talking about it. Shenanigans, fake news, we're moving on. So let's get into our number two headline of the week. Could Greg Schiano be the Patriots' next defensive coordinator? So Greg Schiano and Bill Belichick have actually been good friends for a very long time. We're going to give this one three Lombardi trophies. We'll see. There's a very high chance that this could end up happening. Uh, Bill Belichick's son actually played for Greg Schiano at Rutgers. So... The connection is definitely there. There are a bunch of Patriots players on their defense right now, like Deron Harmon, uh, former Patriot Logan Ryan, and obviously defensive captain Devin McCourty. We're all Rutgers players under Greg Schiano. After the whole Tennessee Greg Schiano shenanigans went down, Bill Belichick was actually one of the first coaches to comment on how he thought he was one of the best coaches in the entire sport. So if they wanted to move away from someone in-house and bring in Greg Schiano, who's the current Ohio State defensive coordinator, the option is there. I still think Belichick will go with Brian Flores just to continue on the theme of if you grow through the Patriots system, you kind of earn these coaching spots as you've gone along. I think Brian Flores, at that, as the linebackers coach, has definitely earned his spot as the Patriots' next defensive coordinator. Let's move into our number three headline. How about Joe Judge, the special team? coach maybe looking at retirement we're giving this one four Lombardi trophies so this is interesting because there have been a lot of things that have gone around about this over whether he's going to retire leave the Patriots or come back next year there's three of those options right now but he says he's not really thinking about it. He's been with the Pats for about six years, and he's said that he was irritated that people keep bringing it up to him and that he's focused specifically on this game. But when there's smoke, there's fire, people. There, this story has actually been accumulating since about week 15, week 16, that he was going to leave or just straight up retire. So we're going to give this one four Lombardi trophies. I think it's more likely that he's going to leave and find another job than straight up retire. But there have been some rumors that he might just be done with football in general. So four Lombardi trophies there. Let's get into our number four headline of the week. Is the NFL changing security for this year's Super Bowl? We're giving this one five Lombardi trophies because guess what? When Tom Brady's jersey gets stolen from his locker at the end of a Super Bowl, you damn well better change the security. So after this whole craziness that where his jersey got stolen and then Von Miller's cleats got stolen the year before, the NFL has finally changed their security for the locker rooms after games. So media will now have their credentials scanned before they go into locker rooms and they must tap in and tap out of the locker room so they know who is in the locker room at all times. This is a long time coming. I can't believe we even needed to get to a point where the NFL needed to change the security because someone stole Tom Brady's jersey. How does that even happen? How do you even get to a point where Tom Brady can get his jersey stolen? I don't know. Glad to see the NFL is at least making changes now. 
should have been a little bit later. Let's get into our number five headline, though. Could Malcolm Butler return next season? So this has been a pretty big storyline for the Patriots all season. What is going to happen to Malcolm Butler? He has not had that great of a year so far. So we're going to give this one three Lombardi trophies because it's still really tough to say. So we know that the Patriots gave Stephon Gilmore that huge five-year, uh, five $65 million contract last offseason with $45 million guaranteed. Malcolm Butler thought that that money was supposed to go to him. He had a great year last year, but this year he just has not been the same player. He's been getting dominated in the red zone. He really hasn't been able to keep up with younger wide receivers. Just there really has, hasn't been a game where he has stepped up and really played like he did last year. He has said that he wants to be back, quote, without a doubt, but we know that the Patriots were shopping him last year with the Saints to maybe try to swing a trade for a first-round pick or for Brandon Cooks. We know that obviously they traded their first-round pick for Brandon Cooks, but there's a lot of rumors that it might have just been straight up for Malcolm Butler for Cooks. So we'll see what happens with Malcolm Butler. We're putting this 50-50 for now with three Lombardi trophies. Let's get into number six. Could Tom Brady retire after the Super Bowl? Fake news. Absolutely not. So he was asked this question at media day, and he got kind of agitated. He doesn't really understand why people wanted to retire. He says he's, quote, not thinking about retirement at all. And he reinforced again that he wants to play until his mid-40s. I understand that this whole Tom versus time thing has caused a lot of, you know, upheaval in the NFL media, people thinking this and that. But if you watch Tom versus time, all he keeps talking about is how great he feels, about how his body is going to hold up for the next couple of years. There's no way that he's going to retire. He's going to play a couple more years after it. It would be kind of, I'm trying to think of the word, it would be nice for the legacy to see him start his Patriots career with three Super Bowls and then end it with three Super Bowls. But for now, Tom Brady's not going anywhere, folks. I think when Jimmy Garoppolo got traded, that kind of sealed the deal on that one. Let's get into number seven. Did Bill Belichick and Alex Guerrero high five after the ESPN report came out? We're not going to give this one five Lombardi trophies because it came from WEI's Kirk Minahan, but we're going to give this one four Lombardi trophies. It's pretty likely that they high fived after it. So apparently Belichick went up to Guerrero with a big smile on his face and said, hey, we made the news, and they high fived. So this whole reported friction between Belichick and Guerrero and Brady and they all hate each other and blah blah more and more that we've heard about this story the more and more it's come out to that this was a highly over dramatized story and that there, there's something there but there really isn't a lot going on between Belichick and Guerrero clearly the beef was between the Patriots training staff and Alex Guerrero not Belichick and Alex Guerrero so this story obviously will continue to flow with it, but I think as of right now, we've come to the conclusion it's not a non-story, but it, it's it's not as big of a deal as the failing news ESPN decided to come out with. Let's get into number eight headline. How about Brady being under fire for kissing his 11-year-old son on Tom versus Time? You know, we try to we try to report the highest quality news here at Chat Sports, so we're gonna give this one one Lombardi trophy. I was thinking about giving this one fake news, but it's not fake news because CBS2 New York decided to bring on a parenting expert to comment on an article because they thought that he kissed his son for too long. What what are we doing here? This is Super Bowl week. Why are we talking about how long he's spending kissing his kids? I don't understand. There's so many storylines going into this Super Bowl. There's so many. And the one that CBS 2 New York, this is why you're not New York 1, the story that they tried to put the feather in their hat on was Brady kissing his son. I, 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 I'm completely lost on this. We need to move on before I, before I lose my mind. How about number nine, Tom Brady to win the MVP. This might have been one of my favorite storylines of the week. Give this one four Lombardi trophies. So I need everyone to squint. Squint here for a second. It says... Brady acceptance speech, and then two lines down, Associated Press MVP award. So this apparently, someone apparently during the media day event was just walking around with Brady's acceptance speech for the MVP. Just walking around with it, just kind of casually like, hey, I'm just going to casually hold it. If you look at the picture who this came from, from the dude was really happy, and it was so out in the open, almost as if he was trying to get caught. I don't know how the NFL could let this happen. This is the biggest award of the year. He's going to be the oldest active MVP, and they're just walking around with his speech like it's Tom Brady's jersey from the Super Bowl. I don't get it. Classic NFL shenanigans, but a 
Apparently Tom Brady's gonna win the MVP and give a speech that starts with that he's humbled and honored to be recognized with this year's recipient of the Associated Press MVP Award. Hey, it's not like he doesn't deserve it. 